Russian test gate. Ladies, the marquee event, the show we all tuned in for, the spectacle. I may be the only one, but I kind of miss Plushenko. It's just not the same level of dramatic entertainment without him. Anyhow, the show opener for the ladies was Miss Maya Cromage, who, by the way, is keeping her short program. Why is she keeping her short program? In my imagination, it went something like this. Iteri calls Maya into her office and says, Maya, the Federation did give me funding for you. However, I've decided to invest it in other things. Your current program is good enough. Let's focus on that quad. All of this is said as Iteri slowly strokes her fur. Listen, this is all just my imagination. None of this happened. I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason as for why Maya is keeping her short program. Anyhow, Maya is a solid skater, so I'm sure she'll do well this season. She has a quad and ultra C skills are king and, and skating right now. Everything else is extra, so I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. I do wonder if Maya can keep competing f- towards the next Olympic. We will have to see. Um, Her short program wasn't my favorite last season. It's not my favorite this season. But again, she's got a quad, so she'll be fine. Um, Following Maya was Elisabetta um, Magnanova, who is also keeping her short program. Imagine her conversation with her coach went a little different. It was more like Elisabetta. The Federation said they don't have any money. They gave it all to the daddy. So you're going to have to keep your same short program. Thank you so very much. Um, Elisabetta has a lot of really fine skating quality. Unfortunately, with her current technical component, she's not making it out of Russia. She's one of those skaters who probably would benefit from a federation change. However, as things change, she is not getting out of, out of Russia. Um, following Elisabetta was Daria um, Yusasheva, who Danny G literally has had this child skate the same program for three seasons. I know people think Daria is boring. However, growth has to be nurtured. One has to be in an environment of innovation, artistic challenge, and, and experimentation for evolution to happen. How can a kid who was given the same program to three different music tracks show change? I think Daria has a great deal of potential and given different material, we could see a new side of her. Again, this is a perfectly generic program for Daria and again, she will do well this season. Unfortunately, her growth is being stagnant because she is being pigeonholed in this particular genre of music and program. Following Daria was Sofia um, Semendurova, who was just her usual diva self. Her jumps always amaze me because she has no height and yet somehow she gets it done. Um, I, I like Sofia. She's a little firecracker and I like that. Unfortunately, she's another skater that will not make it out of Russia. Um, We'll have to wait and see because you never know. But yeah, I don't see her making it out of Russia. Finally, a breath of fresh air by the name of Senya Senisina came in. All I could think while I was watching the program was this is what happens when a choreographer cares when it is a labor of love, when a choreographer is crafting for the skater in front of them as opposed to an assembly line process. Xenia was a a palate cleanser. I can only pray the judges fairly judge her this season. Otherwise, she's probably going to get buried and will probably not be able to leave Russia. However, Xenia is a special skater. And I have to wait to see what they have in store for her for the long program. But for me, her short program was it. It was it. Um, Senya was followed by Anna Shabakova, um, who 
honestly, I need more time to process Anna's program. All, all I can remember was there was a lot of attempt at what I believe was Egyptian hand movement. I, I need to rewatch that program a couple of times before I can render an opinion. Because I always felt like Anna was Danny G's favorite. So I, I need to watch this program before I can decide on um, which way it is. Um, anyway, Anna missed her triple combination. However, she's coming off of a foot injury, so I don't really think we can judge um, her full potential at the moment. And Anna's a little fighter. Every time we count her out, she comes right back stronger than ever. So I will say let's wait and see in the case of Anna. Following Anna was Aliona. I was born to be a diva Costanaya. <sighs> All I could think as I was watching the program was may the skating gods smite thee with complete male pattern baldness, Danny G. How can you have so much talent in front of you and decide this is the program she deserved? I really want Kostanaya to make the Olympics. However, this short program really isn't it. Hopefully, she will get her triple axle under control and clean up her other jumps because she's going to need every tech score that she can get. I mean, Atheri, please, please let Kostanaya bring back Adios No Nino. It will cost you not a cent and Danny G won't have to do any additional work. Think of it as an act of charity towards the fan. I mean, please let her have a fair chance at an Olympic birth. I feel like the only silver lining of this whole situation is the fact that all the other programs by Danny G from that camp are basically of the same standard. But please, Iteri, as a fan, give Aliona a fair fighting chance at Olympic birth and change the program to Adios No Nino. Um, following Costanaya came Alexandra Quad Queen Chusaba with the Frida program. She was trying to sell it with everything she has. She really was trying to sell us that program. And, and you could see that she's made so much progress. And because she's grown so much, her lines look so much better. Um, she did fall on her triple axle attempt, and her triple triple was under rotated. However, I'm not overly worried about Chusova because she's more of a long program skater, anyways. And I think she's making steady progress toward that triple axle that she wants so badly. So again, let us wait and see how she progress this season. And her red hair played really well on camera. I wasn't sure how that would come out, but it played really well on camera. After Alexandra came, Empress Elizabetta to Tamishaba with a triple axle that was like butter. Professor Mission's triple axle is really textbook. And for it being this early in the season, Tutamisheva looks amazing. I pray she only approve, um, improves as the season go. Because I really, really want Empress Tutamisheva to overcome all the odds and make it to the Olympics. I know it's highly improbable, but nothing is impossible. So I'm, I'm rooting for you, Empress Tutamisheva. Um, closing the show out was Miss um, Camila Valieva. Her musical selection, in my opinion, is the best of the Danny G collection. Without a doubt, she's the front runner for the gold. Um, I also hope she has a good season. She seems like such a nice kid. She seems really sweet. Her jumps actually look better in competition than they did in practice, so which is definitely a, a plus. Um, I actually would really like to see Valieva perform a non-Danny G program. I, I would really like to see that. I don't know if we ever will, but I would really like to see that. But all in all, she, she had a really nice outing and she's really setting herself up um, for her Olympic season.